Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with an update for the same pan last year, Project Pan. This is a Project Pan that was created by Shelly from Unapologetically Shelly. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab. This project started on January 8th of this year and goes to December 8th of this year. She wanted to give us a little time off at the end of the year to wrap up other projects and whatnot. I hope she's bringing this back next year. I've really enjoyed doing this. Shelly, I have any say, please bring this back. And you guys, if you're subscribed to me, you should go subscribe to Shelly. She's hysterical. She's always riding the crazy train. She doesn't have any rules and breaks them all the time, which is why I've broken the rule in this project of only using old things. I totally forget about it every time and every single time I bring in new items. And that's what I'm doing again today. But Shelly never minds. So go check out her channel. Shelly, thank you so much for um, creating this project. And with that being said, let me get into how I did last month. last month but I do have a few rollouts so let me get into that the first prompt I still have in is for Groundhog Day February 2nd a product that you keep repurchasing or are doomed to pan forever this is meant to be tongue-in-cheek but I feel like both of those apply to this concealer this is the Too Faced Born This Way naturally radiant concealer I love this but first of all I I've been panning it forever I can see that there is like lighter and it's lighter in this section of the bottle, which it should be, but I can only see like one little scrape mark. I don't know what's going on with this. I use this all the time. The other reason I feel like I keep repeat purchasing is because I keep repeat purchasing concealers in general. I need to stop. But this, my goal is to finish this, which if it's not done by the end of this project, I'm decluttering it anyway because it's done enough for me. It'll be pretty much finished and it just needs to go after this year. It's been in my collection for too many years. This went from 22.34 grams to 22.19 grams. I really like this. It really truly is naturally radiant under my eyes and I'm really bummed that they don't sell this anymore. For Valentine's Day, February 14th, a red item, a pink item, heart shape, love theme, in any way you can relate it to the theme. That's another thing I love about Shelly. She's like, just relate it in any way you can, make it work. And so everybody should be able to do the project because she leaves this so open-ended. But to that event, I put in my e.l.f. tinted lip oil. My goal is to finish it. And so far I was able to make another mark and I'm down to there. I went from 33.03 to 32.99 grams. So it didn't move as much as last time, but it moved and that's all I needed to do. So I'm happy about that. For winter, a winter themed item, I brought in this Ofra Gloss in the shade Millie. This was one of the Samantha March collab items. Um, I was able to make another mark. I still have a bunch left at the bottom. This is almost going to be considered done for me because I can barely scrape out any more around the tube. So once I can't do that, any, once I can't get any out anymore, I'm considering this done. I'm not one that pulls the stoppers or gets in there with a little spatula and scrapes everything out. Maybe once my um, collection gets smaller, I will do that. But right now, I am just good if I can get everything in it with the stopper in and getting it with the doe foot. So this went from 27.04 to 26.97 grams. And I'm happy about that. Oh, Fenty Beauty Foundation. I put the Fenty Beauty Foundation in for Women's History Month. That's the month of March. Anything from a female owned brand. My goal is to use it 10 times. I haven't used it at all in the past two months. I've only used it twice throughout this whole project. I'm trying to pan two other foundations right now. So this is sadly taking a back seat. It's okay, but I really like it. So I will use it again, but for now, nope. Okay. This next product, I talked a lot about it last update. For April Fool's Day, an item that you feel like a fool for buying, that's this e.l.f. camo concealer for a couple different reasons. Number one, it's way, way, way too light for me. I don't know what I was thinking. And number two, I don't need another concealer. I've established that. I don't need anything but 
whatever. Um, so I said, I had to use it 10 times, I used it six, and I said to you guys, all right, once I get those four uses out, I'm decluttering it, but I've changed my mind. If you are a panner, especially a panner that doesn't wear makeup that often, you know how precious four uses of something is. So I said to myself, and I talked to a few of my friends, and I said, I don't want to use this four more times and take four more times away from like this, for, for, for instance. I want to declutter it now, and they were like, then do it. So I'm doing it. Plus, I'm going on a beach vacation, and my brother's girlfriend has a few um, teenage girls who would absolutely love anything I would bring to them. So the fact that I can declutter this and it's going to go to a good home is so exciting for me. So I'm decluttering this. Therefore, that prompt is rolling out four uses shy of my goal. And I'm not mad at it. I hope you guys are okay with it too. For Earth Day, April 22nd, an eco-friendly item, clean beauty, etc. I brought in this powder from Well People. Well People is considered a clean brand. Um, I brought in the Well People Loose Super Powder. This is a brightening powder in the shade Pearl. It is absolutely flippin' lovely. This stuff is so finely milled. It is so, it is brightening without it being like, I mean, look at my face. It's just so pretty. I, I can't even tell you. It brightens up my under eyes so nicely, but it doesn't leave like the flashback from a camera. It doesn't make me look cakey. I really, really like that powder. It, I had it in to use 10 times. So far I've used it eight. It went from 34.20 grams to 34.24 grams. So it gained 0.4 ounces. I don't know how, 0.04 ounces. I don't know how, but it did. It's magic, but whatever. I used it one more time. Oh, I forgot to grab something. Um, okay, then for Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, use the five hand palette five times. Um, I brought in my Natasha Denona Cupid palette. I had a goal, of course, to use it five times. I only used it once and I have not used it in the past month, so I still only used it once. So, of course, this is going to stay in, and I'm not mad at it. I really like the palette, so I'm excited to keep playing with it. Mother's Day, May 14th. This is what, this is like, this is perfect Shelly. If you are a mother, stepmother, pet mom, plant mom, that's credit to Erica Ashley, or have ever, ever had a mom, <laughs> pick an item of your choice. So, I decided to go with this Rare Beauty Liquid Blush in the shade Encourage. This is so unbelievably beautiful. You literally need like a dab. That might even be too much. But it shears out beautifully. Look at that. It is such a gorgeous color. I bought that, I don't know when I bought that. Maybe when I went shopping with Bev, I can't remember, but I love it anyway. I have a goal to use it five times. I've only used it once. I've been focusing on other things that are moving out sooner. I'm not mad at it. I need to get pick up my uses though. For Pride Month, June, an item from a Pride collection or a rainbow item, I decided Jen had given me a sample, Jen from Project Beauty, you should check her out too, gave me a sample of the Sydney Grace Kaleidoscope Loose Pigment. And I really suck at using loose pigment. And to me, I like the name. It reminded me of a rainbow because kaleidoscopes are like rainbows when you look in the little lens. This is absolutely a gorgeous, gorgeous shadow. I mean, it's gorgeous, but I really suck at using loose pigments and I still suck at using loose pigments because I had this in for a three times usage goal. I've not used it at all. So this is staying in my collection, staying in this project. I'm not mad at it, but I do need to like start using the things. You see a pattern here, right? For blushing brides, a blush or blush palette, I decided <laughs> to bring in. Um, I decided to bring in this Quo Beauty Featherweight Cream Blush. Jen knew I wanted to try some Quo products, so she sent me some. This is in the shade Angelic. It's this beautiful, on-trend, bright pink color. I had a goal to use this five times. She also gave me another bright pink um, stick. Well, it's not as bright, but look at that. Do you think I've used this yet? Everybody say it out loud. No. <laughs> So here it is, it's absolutely lovely. I have a goal to use it five times. I will, but I just haven't yet. 
For National Best Friends Day, June 8th, something from your best friend or reminds you of your best friend. Well, one of my YouTube besties is Deb. Um, and her channel's name is Deb B. And I made her a cross stitch and I didn't want her to pay me for it at all. Long story short, Boxy put up this palette for a really good deal and I said, oh my God, get it for me. And then she wouldn't let me pay her for it. So this is a gift from one of my YouTube besties. This is the Natasha Denona Zendo palette. And it is absolutely gorgeous. I had so much fun using this palette. I had it in to use three looks. I had to do three looks from it, and I did, and I loved it. I did two looks, no, yeah, two looks that were centered on this green, and then another look that was centered on like the pinks and the purples and blues, or not blues, pinks and purples and browns. And I really, really enjoyed it. So because that's done, that's rolling out too. So I have this as a rollout, and then this as a declutter slash roll out. Um, everything else is staying in because I'm a mediocre project panner and that's okay. Um, for summer, something that reminds you of summer or that you got during a previous summer. Well, this totally reminds me of summer. This is the Kiko Milano um, Baked Highlighter in Golden Sand. Of course, summer, hello. And this is so beautiful. I know um, Sophia from Makeup Obsessed, she is, uh, Sophie, she is, um, Sophie, uh, I'm tongue-tied, she is panning this because she's not sure if it works for her. I think it's lovely. So I'll have to see what her final verdict is for this highlighter. But I just think on me, it's a really nice glassy highlighter. And I like how it makes my cheeks look like um, kind of wet, but not like bam bright. I do like the bam bright highlighters, but not all the time. So this is lovely for those days that I don't want something in your face. Um, Fourth of July, a product from an indie brand. Oh, I'm going to do the next two together. Fourth of July was a product from an indie brand, and Sparklers is a sparkly or sparkling item. For that, I brought in two sets of indie shadows. I brought in my Terra Moons and my Jady Glows. They're all the ones up here. And then I threw in these two singletons for good measure. Did I use the, any of them? No. So this is sticking around. My goal is to use each one of them one time. I will. I have all year to do so. I just haven't done it yet. I will. And then for dog days of summer, which is July 3rd through August 11th, that is something hot and or sultry. Well, hello, Victoria's Secret models. I brought in the Victoria's Secret Oh So Sexy perfume. My goal is to get to this line on the tape right up to the top of the heart. And I'm a little bit down in the neck now. I have used this a couple of times. It did go from... 239.64 to 239.22 grams. So it did go down in weight. Not a tremendous amount, but that's okay. I'm using it and that's all I wanted to do. So I'm gonna house this back in its little holder so that um, I don't drop it. I don't wanna break it. So yeah, those are all the prompts. Um, at least I'm able to roll two more out. And then I decided to roll in the rest of the specialty prompts. Everything else goes along with the calendar. These last three I'm rolling in are products, or yeah, are products that I'm putting in for prompts that are like the specialty prompts um, that don't go with a specific date. For the So for the first one is presents. Any item that you've gotten as a gift for any reason, including gift with purchase. Well, lovely Shelly sent me a little bit of a birthday gift. A, a lot bit of a birthday gift. You saw it unboxing. And one of them was the Eyes to Mesmerize Pillow Talk shadow. And so I really wanted to put that in for this prompt. This is so beautiful looking. I am so super excited. I'm going to ruin that little peek right now. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm excited to try this. I've never tried one of these eyes to mesmerize. I don't know if it's going to crease. I don't know if it's going to lay down and, and like not transfer. I don't know what it's going to do, but I'm really excited to try it. If you guys have any, um, experience with these eyes to mesmerize shadows can you let me know like how they behave i would really like to know and i could look up reviews too but i like to know from you guys what you think so that's in for a three times usage goal special occasion something you got 
for or are saving for a special occasion. What are you waiting for? Well, I always save like my really bougie, fun, like bright shadows and stuff for like something where I, I want to do my makeup and ha and like go somewhere or do something. And then I use like my more natural things like I have on today just for like leaving the house and whatever. And I'm like, why do I do that? So I decided to put in my Adept Seahorse palette. I haven't even taken the plastic off of it yet. I'm not going to yet. This is so cool though. It's like this raised embossment. It's so beautiful. I love Adept shadows. And here is the palette. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's so gorgeous. And I cannot wait to see what kind of looks I can get with this. These are all like iridescent. Now I'm thinking this is like a companion palette. I don't know if I can make a full look with the whole palette, but I'm going to see what, what I can do with it. Maybe I can use like my Terra Moons and then top with these or whatever, but that is what I'm doing. And I have a goal to use this for three looks. So that is this. And then last but not least, a collab and any item from a collaboration. I am putting in another ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. This is in the shade Holiday Hostess. It's a Miss Piggy one. So it was in collaboration with the Muppets, obviously. And this is a, look at this little, look at that on the front. Um, you know, I've been loving my Super Shocks lately and this is a really beautiful pink color. It's not show, there we go. That's a more true to shade color. But this is really lovely. This, that looks more like it there. There we go. So there is the color. See how it's like pink there and then you go like that and it goes more icy. So that is pretty. Let me see if this um, Pillow Talk shadow did anything. Oh yeah, that dries down. Oh no, it doesn't. There we go. But it doesn't go all over the place. So it'll blend. I think it'll blend. Nice. Okay. So we'll see if it creases. I don't know if it does. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of the Charlotte Tilbury um, cream shadows if you've tried them. So yeah, this is my update for Same Pan last year. Um, yeah, I hope that you are okay with the declutter that I'm doing and that you're okay with me breaking all the rules of bringing in new stuff instead of old stuff. Shelly was, she was like, oh Kim, I don't care. <laughs> So anyway, I, uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, please. And if you liked me, please consider subscribing. I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.